What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another Blueprint episode of Call of Duty Mobile. So today we are going to be discussing the newly released collaboration draw, which is the Kevin Durant draw. So it's been quite a while since we've had a collaboration draw within this game. We've had a few in the past. We've had the, the I think the Saul draw. We had uh, Snoop Dogg twice. One was with his normal legendary and one like in a Christmas version. And we've also had two soccer themed draws. One of them was for Messi and the other one was for Neymar. But I would say out of all of them, this one probably resonates more with the Neymar draw because this skin, which is the number 35, that's basically what this Lapa Legendary skin is called, is kind of somewhat of a reskin of the King's Pride, but a much more improved version. The Neymar draw had the same legendary skin design, but obviously in a different way. But the main reason why I say that this is somewhat of a reskin, if anything, I would call it like maybe a semi reskin is because obviously the structure of the weapon is a lot more different than, you know, the original King's Pride. I assume that I kind of I was kind of right. You know, my predictions were correct, saying that this was going to be somewhat of a reskin. But I didn't think that they were going to go to the extent of actually modifying the entire whole design of the gun. I thought it was just going to be the King's Pride with just like a different color. And the crazy thing about this one is that we didn't really see this in the leaks until probably way later down the line after the Kevin Durant draw was already announced. And it was shown on like one of the test servers that there was going to be a legendary Lapa coming into the game. I assumed that maybe it was going to be a brand new one, but it did say soccer. So I assumed that maybe they were bringing the King's Pride back, uh, despite the fact that, I mean, the, King, the King's Pride was there for like for like months. But the leaks did mention that it was soccer themed, which I thought was kind of weird. I thought maybe they're going to bring like a Ronaldo version, but it wouldn't really make any sense given the fact that, I mean, we're already way past the World Cup. We're not seeing one until like maybe a few more years down the line. So yeah, we're we're not getting that again. It wasn't until uh, COD Mobile on Twitter actually announced that there was going to be a Kevin Durant draw. So yes, th this news kind of came in late and I'm assuming that the gun skin was already in the game's files, but they couldn't really leak it because of maybe copyright reasons. But yeah, we were kind of like given a first look of this skin a little later down the line. We didn't get this immediately. So just in case you guys don't follow basketball or anything like that, I mean, I don't even follow basketball myself, but I did some research on Kevin Durant. And yes, he's a pro basketball player who's been in three separate teams throughout his entire basketball career. The first one was Oklahoma City Thunders, then was the Golden, I, I believe the Golden state warriors and i think the last one or the current one that he's in right now is the phoenix suns so it's quite obvious that he does have quite a bit of experience in pro basketball and i mean it's i mean it's pretty admirable i mean most people like strive every day to become the best athlete that they possibly can for their respective sport and only some of them make it into the pro leagues that's just how it is but it kind of came at a weird time because I'm not really sure if, the, if there's like any major events going on in basketball like soon. But I do. I am aware that this event also is in Modern Warfare 2. They have a bundle for Kevin Durant as well. But a lot of people are saying that the character skin for Kevin Durant is far better in this version compared to what they have in Modern Warfare 2. Of course, with us, I mean, they're not going to give it to us that easily. Of course, to us, it's always in the form of a draw. But honestly, this one's kind of like well worth it if you don't have the King's Pride. And I say that because just like the design overall with this one is I think is probably far superior. I say that because, you know, I kind of like more of like the black and gold design. Of course, you know, that's always subjective. I'm sure people love the more white and gold elegance of the Lapa's King's Pride. But yeah, with this one, I mean, this one looks far better, in my opinion. And there are a little bit more added effects on this gun compared to the the King's Pride. So first off is actually the weapon switch sound. So I know there are some legendaries out there that have different uh, switching sounds, but this one actually has like this little, I guess this coach whistle whenever you do switch out the weapon. And not only that, they also have like a glowing basketball at the front barrel of the gun. And the stock as well is pretty different too, because it is in the shape of like a, you know, a basketball net. But on the base of the, I guess on the bottom side of the stock, where I guess like where you can't see it, it does have kind of like the carving of like a basketball. So they also have a 35 diamond encrusted thing on obviously the iron sight, but they also have it on the handle as well, you know, where you usually have that quick draw handle. As for the death effect, it is pretty unique as well, because when you do kill someone, it's basically like a 
like I guess uh, basketball going down a hoop at high speeds and just exploding once it hits the ground. It's pretty cool. I also forgot to mention that it does also have like this little crowd cheering of, you know, sound effect. I don't know how it gets triggered. Maybe it's maybe it's reactive and I don't know it. But yeah, uh, this uh, one came out. This one actually came out to like 4,700 COD points at the end of the draw. So, yeah, I mean, I guess since it's like a collaboration job with like a celebrity, maybe it's going to be a little more expensive. But um, maybe it's reactive. I just don't know it yet. So it's it's kind of it, this is a kind of like a weird legendary. There's probably like more hidden features that I don't actually know about. But anyways, at the end of the day, I mean, this is a pretty cool Lapa skin. It's a decent, it's actually probably one of the better reskins that I've seen so far for a legendary skin. Yeah, we do have the legendary prestige and some, you know, other basic legendary skins. But I would say that out of all the legendary reskins, this probably has to be like one of, if not the best one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for some more Cod Mobile Blueprint content. I'll see you guys next time.